today's video we are going to see how to create a similar creative morph transition and powerpoint presentation so let's begin so here we have the blank slide okay now the layout is going to be the blank layout all right and in the view options i have just switched on the grid lines okay fine now in the next step we'll go to the design option we'll go to the format background option i'm going to select the gradient okay this is the gradient fill that i am going to select all right and it's going to be the linear one perfect now in the next step let's zoom out a little bit first now we are going to insert a rectangle let's insert a rectangle okay now here we are going to edit the point so let's go to the edit points option and here in the middle i'm going to add a point okay and let's drag this point a little bit upwards like this okay now click the right mouse button and then select the smooth point and let's adjust it a little bit more all right perfect that's it now we'll go to the shape format shape outline is going to be the outline and let's drag it like this all right fine perfect okay now in the next step we are going to fill some color so we'll go to the gradient fill option we are going to use the same gradient fill but for this the first hand is going to be color person transparent all right so somewhat of this kind is going to happen now in the next step we are going to insert the shape that is this oval shape by pressing the shift key this shape okay the shape outline is going to be no outline shape fill is going to be the white color okay now let's go to the effect option in the format shape option and now let's go to the 3d rotation and in the 3d rotation i'm going to select in perspective relaxed moderate like this and now i am just going to change it a little bit more okay like this all right fine and let's bring it over here Okay. Now I'm going to press the Control D to make the exact copy of the same oval, and I'm going to place it aside. Okay. Now for this circle, let's go to the 3D Format option, and in the 3D Format option, let's give it some depth. So I'll give it around 20. Fine. So the color contour is very perfect. The material. We are going to select the special effect, this material, okay? And the lightning, we are going to select the blue. All right, good. Okay, now we are going to press the Control D to make the exact copy of this oval. I'm going to place it exactly on top of the previous one by pressing the Control and Shift key, and then dragging the mouse to turn to reduce the size like this, and that's shifted a little bit. perfect okay now in the next step we are going to use this oval okay now for this oval we will go to the soft edge option and we are going to have some soft edges like this okay now increase the size of this oval like this and let's send it to backwards all right Let's adjust the size. Perfect. So this will give us some lighting. Now in the next step, we are going to insert rectangle only. Okay. So here I'm going to insert a small rectangle. Now in the next step, I'm going to insert the oval. Okay, so here I am 
so it's on part of this kind. I'm going to place it over here. Now I'm going to first select the rectangle. But before it, we are just going to make a copy of the same oval. So I'm pressing the Ctrl D and I'm going to go to the side for the time being. Now first select the rectangle and now by pressing the Ctrl key, select the oval. And let's subtract it. Okay. Similarly to the bottom side also, we'll place the oval like this. Okay. So first select the rectangle. By pressing the control key, then select the oval and let's subtract it. Alright, fine. Now let's drag it till here. Perfect. So for this shape, the color is going to be white. Okay, now let's insert some rectangles. So I'm going to do this rectangle and I am going to insert it. Okay, exactly in the middle. Now let's press the Ctrl D and this time let's bring it to the side. Let's reduce its size. Let's place it over here. Now press the Ctrl D over here and Ctrl D. Now again, three on this side. Now one by one, so first of all we are going to select this shape, okay. Now pressing the control key, we are going to select the square, okay. And now in the merge shape option, we are going to subtract, okay. So basically we have made the whole. Similarly, now by pressing the control key, we are going to select this rectangle and let's subtract, again, subtract. So we have to repeat this step, okay, in the merge shape option. So first of all, we'll select the bigger shape and then the smaller rectangle and subtract it. Alright then, so basically we have created a structure. Now let's give it some 3D effect. So let's go to the effect option and in the effect option, let's go to the 3D format and let's change the width to 100 points. Okay, and let's change the height to 50 points. Perfect. And shape outline is going to be the no outline. Alright, looking beautiful. Yes. Now, important step. In the next step, we are going to insert another shape. That's this rectangle. Okay. And we are going to place it like this. Now, the shape outline is going to be done and the shape fill is going to be white and this time it's going to be transparent like this. Okay, and we are going to send this rectangle to like this. Okay, we have created some more of this kind. Now, in the next step, we are going to insert the text box. So, next step, we are going to add some images. So, here I'm going to insert the new slide and in this new slide, I'm going to the images that are there on my device. So I'm going to press the control E to select all the images and now I'm going to insert all of them. So one by one, I am going to select the picture, going to press the control X and I'm going to bring it to my slide number one. Okay, now here I'm going to place it like this and in the next step, I'm going to crop this image. Okay. But I am going to crop it in such a way so that it can fit in these rectangles. Like this. Then crop. Once it is cropped, we'll send it to back. Like this. Beautiful. Similarly, the same step we are going to repeat for the other images also. We are going to bring it here. Adjust and then crop. Okay. The 
this is very important step. In the next step, we are going to make the exact copy of the same slide. Okay, but before we make the exact copy, just we are going to add some icons. Okay. Okay, fine. So the basic structure of the slide is ready. Now, one by one, we are going to make the copy of the same slide six times. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six times we have made the copy of the same same slide. Now, in the next step, we'll go to the slide number two. In the slide number two, we are going to move this image over here. And let's crop it one more time and let's remove the text and crop this image okay let's make it a bigger rectangle this time let's adjust like this excellent now here similarly on slide number three let's remove the text from here also Alright, perfect. Now for all of this slide, we are going to give the transition effect that is morph transition. Okay, so basically we have created a morph transition and the basic structure. This is very important step. So what are we going to do here? We are going to select this rectangle. Okay, this transparent one. Okay, and we are going to link this rectangle to slide number one that we have to do it on all the slides okay so whenever somebody click on the blank space we'll directly move to the slide number one and for this first circle we are going to link it to the slide number let's see on which slide this image is displayed this slide image is this image is displayed on the slide number four okay that so for this circle similarly we are going to link and we are going to link it to the slide number let's see on which slide it is it is on slide number three so we are going to link it to the slide number three for this circle we are going to link it to slide number two for this, we are going to link it to slide number 5. And for this, we are going to link it the circle we are going to link it to slide number 6. And lastly, this we are going to link it to slide number So same step we have to repeat it for all the slides, okay? 